Uh, to begin with, we'll introduce ourselves. My name is Maria Anglade, and I am a teacher at Abraham Lincoln High School. For the last 13 years, I'm moving to Bruce Randolph School, which is a middle school. And I'm, it's a 6 through 12, and I'm teaching 8th grade physical science. Right. Uh, and I'm Maria Jungle. I teach math at Abraham Lincoln High School. I've seen some of you around. I'm going to get popular if I'm not careful. Um, but I'm also working on a master's degree in K through 12 instructional technology. Um, so I kind of dabble in a lot of this stuff for fun. Um, yeah, and, that's normal. Um, and the title of this course is Video and Google Hangouts for Practice Processing. So um, my computer is very slow. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this little circle is loading. Um, so I think we're, I'm just going to get started on letting you know what is Google Hangouts. So first of all, do you know what is Google Hangouts? Does anyone know what is Google Hangouts? Kind of like Skype. Uh-huh. It's kind of like Skype. I can, yeah, I can call people from there. You can call people from Google Hangouts, and neither of you have ever used it or don't, don't even know what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, and if you want to follow along with this session document, you can go to bit.ly slash camcon5. Um, so bit.ly slash camcon5, and then you can see like all this stuff here for you. And you might see it faster than I. This is true. Um, yeah. So yeah, those Macs are pretty slow now. They work really well, and then all of a sudden they. Uh, so I don't know so. if it's the oh, Wi-Fi or the drives or things anymore. like that. So bit um, slash camcon five. The the way that I um you know the way that I learn is I associate things to things that I already know, and so when I when I looked at Google Hangouts, it reminded me of AOL Instant Message uh, AOL Instant Messenger from back in the old day. And Skype, it reminds me of Skype. So it's all of those things wrapped up into one single thing that's integrated with Google. So you know, now we have our Google, Google Drive accounts and YouTube and all these things. The Google Hangouts is an app that, yes? Uh, yeah, you could, you could say. And it's, it's part of Plus, Google Plus. There's, there's various ways to get to the Hangouts. Um, so. That part can be a little bit confusing, and I'm still learning about it. How I got introduced to Google Hangouts is that Ben Wilkoff, the guy who's in charge of Project Cam Opener, he was doing a full-day hangout um, for professional development. And I took a personal day because I had a doctor's appointment, so I stayed at home, and I decided to join the Google Hangout. And it was the best professional development I've ever had because I was one-on-one -on -one with him. I was able to share my screen. He could tell me how to do things and install things on my computer. And it was, I mean, it was incredible. It was the best professional development. Because of that experience, I was asked to be here with Maria. Maria is really the knowledgeable person. <laughs> I'm just a person who's here because I've done this a few times. And so, um, let's but you see. do well with it, Maria. Don't cut. Don't sell yourself short. No. So, um, so let's see. That's your little PowerPoint. Yeah. Um, so there's like what three aspects of Google Hangouts is what we could say. Yeah. yeah. Go for so, it. So, uh, so the first one is like AOL Instant Messenger, right? Like I think I'm maybe one of the youngest people in the room, if not like. You know, right? But like, I still remember that, right? So that's that's been around for a while. Um, my experience with that aspect of Hangouts um, is actually really nice because so there's a network called the Colorado Education Network, and we were all trying to plan for an EDCO, um, which is this big conference that's in Keystone at the end of June. There's little flyers right on your table. We're like, hey who's doing what sessions, how can we all help each other and make sure facilitating our sessions goes really well. So we basically started a chat where, and it's, it's a part of the Google Hangouts, like there's the chat, video, and um, broadcasting aspect. So each one gets a little bit more sophisticated, right? So with this, just the chat, we added everybody who wanted to be involved, and so it's this giant chat room that you can just include whoever you want in there. 
Um, and so if you go to what, Hangouts, Google.com, you can go ahead and like add some of those people, start a chat, do something really neat. And so we'll try to make sure before we leave here today, you're at least all in a message chat with us so that if you do come up with problems throughout the year, you can just pull that chat back up and say, hey, I forgot how to do this. Could you remind me with the link or a video or something? Um, and then you have that there. Like I, uh, I, have a, I have a chat open with Ben. And so anytime I have questions from him, like, hey, what would you recommend? Even something casual, like, hey, I'm looking at doing this in my classroom. What site would you recommend I use? And he can just send something back to me really quick about what he would recommend. So it's like AOL Instant Messenger, um, but you can also do like larger group chats and not just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we kind of skipped oh, yeah. this. So how about introductions, your name, your school, and what are you hoping to get out from this? And if you didn't know what you were getting into, try to, can you think of some way that you might be able to use Google Hangouts, knowing that it's a combination of like instant messenger and video conferencing and those types of things. So. Um, Jessica Bryan, I teach at Home Elementary School second grade. I'm doing Project Camel Dinner, so I was thinking of using some of this with that. But also just be good for, we have cross grade level teams this year. We also have just grade level teams. We have various teams that would be great to be able to do this with without having to be in the same room. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm Bridget Weiss. I'll be at Force Elementary next year. <coughs> and um, I'm hoping to use the Google Hangouts as a way to have students communicating with each other. And we're looking particularly at a connection between the elementary school and the middle school and having those conversations across um, the grade levels, of hopefully around work mindset. Cool. I like that. Uh, my name is Diana Duran. I teach at Valdez Second Grade in Law Arts, and um, I haven't used Google Hangouts professionally, so I want to learn how to use that. What's your last name? Duran. Duran. Yeah. Okay. PCO. PCO. Yeah. Good. Douglas Main. Um, I'm at Archuleta Elementary. I teach English, and this is all new for me. So. I'm So um, since you mentioned children communicating with each other, I wanted to add that my children use Google Hangouts already. They're eight and nine years old, and they are holding Google Hangouts all the time, like in the afternoons, with their friends, you know, and they're going on Minecraft, and they're coding things, and then my son is testing the coding of his friend, and they're doing all of these things, which leads you know, to Ben's commentary about our kids growing up in a totally new 21st century skills um, environment. And um, I know that my, I'm going to be learning some things from my children. So um, I am fascinated that they already collaborate on their own um, using current technology. So um, the objective for today is for you guys to create Google Hangouts and be able to use them. And then we want you to compare and contrast. There's a very distinct difference between Google Hangouts and Hangouts on Air. Um, so Maddie, I just sent a group uh, Hangout. Did you guys get this? Or um, do you? You can go to hangouts.google.com, um, and you might have gotten one from me already. That's why I was listening to names very carefully. The website that you gave at the very beginning? Yeah, with the document. Okay. So um, you, can, you can get Hangouts. There, there are various ways to get to Hangouts. I have this little link. Um, on the upper right hand corner, it looks like two quotation marks. Um, and if you click on it, it will come up with, if you're in Chrome, with this Chrome extension, 
Um, Madia is telling me, go to Google Hangouts, you know, dot com. I've never gone in that way. Yeah. Um, it's so, a matter of preference. Um, is, is anyone not in the Google Hangouts yet? Raise your hand. Yes? No? You? You're in there? Okay. Um, so here, how Mattia was talking about, there's, um, once you have a hangout with somebody, it, you, it, it will be saved. Mm -hmm. So um, I haven't gotten to the slide where I talk about some of the uses for hangouts, but here I have a, it's called the Earth Science PLC. So that would be all the people in my PLC would ha be in a hangout. Um, my kids are down here, which is very interesting because I have no idea how Mattia made it to my kids hangout. Yes. But I'm sure it, my my um, my children probably added her. Oh, and then that's um, us uh, with Jessica. Yeah. We're planning um, the session. So anyway, there's um, anyway. So we're in this one, and. So, My computer just doesn't respond very quickly. So um, let me know if I'm capturing this right, Maria. There's basically like multiple ways to access Hangouts. You can use a browser. You can also install like an app or a program to your uh, device. Um, like basically they have it for multiple platforms. So just yeah. whatever works for you. Um, like for example, I have it on my iPad and my iPhone. So if I need to have a chat like on the go, that's a great way to do it. Um, um, do you do it through FaceTime or do you do it just straight? No, just like there's just a straight. Hangouts app. It okay. looks like the same green icon, the little two quotation marks in a whatever those are called. I teach math. Um, it means it, like prime is what I'm inclined to say, but that's not the English term for it. Video um, call from. So um, Anik is already calling me. <laughs> All um, of us. <laughs> and um, oh, this feedback could be bad. Just warning, the feedback could be bad on this. Yeah, the the microphones. If we're all in the same room, it's gonna maybe go. <laughs> so <coughs> did you did you answer, Maria? Um, I did. It's just that my computer. Oh, that's is right. Slow. Due to the number of persons speaking to the group, anyone that they can request. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. So do you hear that? That's what happens if you're actually in the same room. It's a punishment for not talking to each other in person. <laughs> yes. Um, but if you want to avoid some of that, you can just mute your microphone so you see Maria up there with the red microphone. You can mute it so that way you don't have all that feedback. <laughs> so someone needs to mute their computer. Typically, yeah. So typically, if you're in a Google Hangout with someone else and those noises start happening, you need to have everyone mute their microphone. That's a great learning lesson. <laughs> Uh, it's typically whoever's audio. Anik, I'm going to mute, mute yours. Mute yourself. I'm going to mute your microphone, Mrs. <coughs> <coughs> I'm too loud. <gasps> Yeah. You can do that as well. Yeah. So there's a couple settings. Um, I've actually done this, I think, with my sisters and my mom. We also did one of the apps that lets you put mustaches on each other. Um, but yeah. So <laughs> it might be really fun. Um, so for example, the default setting is that whoever is talking, theirs will be the bigger picture. Um, but you can also change that setting. Like, let's say, for example, I really want to stare at someone. Like, you really want to stare at an eek. Like, you could click her and she would pop up. Um, so, really, that's a matter of, like, whatever you're working on. You recording right now? Yeah? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, I love being on video. I don't know. If you do it often enough, like, it just doesn't even phase you anymore. Um, so, 
Some of the uses for the Google Hangouts could be one-on-one -on -one professional development, like the one I had with Ben. I had a, he had a Hangout on air, and I just popped in. And I go, you know what, Ben? What I really want to do is con like Khan Academy. I want to record my lessons. And he's like, oh, what you need is Screencastify. And he showed me how to get it. And then he walked me through how to do it. And I was like, thank you. You know, now I can get going. Um, and so I would say different people in our community, you can ask questions and maybe do a Google Hangout and you can share the screen. So when I shared my screen, he could tell me, go up to the upper right hand corner and click on this and so on and so forth. Um, group professional development, bringing in an expert. There was this, um, these people called solar freaking panels and they're in Idaho and I haven't done this, but I thought about May, maybe doing a Google Hangout with them and having the kids ask them questions. So it's a way that you can meet with people far away. Um, feedback sessions with, you know, in differentiated roles and or... Um, with student teachers. Student teachers. Um, professional learning community support, like I said, my PLC. I even thought about parent-teacher conferences. I know some of our parents' schedules are very you know, varied, and so maybe parents can't come during parent-teacher conferences, and um, so you could do a Google Hangout with them. And the last one would be, um, I, I've, I've thought of tutoring. So, Maddie, have you ever done a Google Hangout for tutoring, or? Uh, I actually used to do Skype with my cousins for tutoring, but, I mean, you could use it the same way. So, um, actually, I ran webinars and stuff in that aspect. So I'm going to, if everybody's on the video call, um, I'm going to do a screen share. So you'll see that's that, if you kind of hover over that left um, piece right there, let's see, what am I, Google Hangouts, sure, let's, uh, let's share that, why not? You are screen sharing, okay. And so you should be able to hopefully see my screen. Is that not showing up? Do you so, want me to share mine? Yeah, Maybe? do it, do it. Well, my computer is quite slow. Anyone in, with the link can request access to this call. I'm clicking on it. But see this little banana pencil? That's the one with the mustache. Um, so this is a screen share. I'm assuming this is take a snapshot, yes? Yes. Um, this is called the control room, so I think maybe I could be controlling I the volume the of the different um, participants. Um, no, you set up this one, right? I did. I can't find my control panel. Yeah, and and oh, you can add it. That's why. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, as you can see, my pages are unresponsive. Welcome to my mm -hmm. world. Um, so, huh? No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so. But we, those are all different extensions. The the control room? Oh, Jessica Bryan open capture smile. <laughs> so um, as as I mentioned to you, there are various ways to get um, Google Hangouts. Um, one of them is through this plugin. Um, another one was Hangouts dot Google dot com. Google dot com. And um, is there another way? Through the Google Plus. So if you go into oh, yeah. your, um, let's see, uh, home. Where is my home? Um, if you're in Google Plus, there's a little drop-down menu, and it's one of the options on the combo box that it says uh, Hangouts. Let me see. <coughs> oh, you can also play YouTube videos with each other. Yeah. Um, let's see here, here, Home. So under the Home menu, you can come down here and also go to Hangouts. So just remember that those little quotation marks is how you get to your Hangouts. So. So how do you form a group? 
Okay. Um, yes. You can click on where it says new conversation. You click. If the conversation is just between two people, it's just going to save as a conversation with you and that person. But if you have more than one, if you have three people, you can name the Hangout. So, um, Maria, do you want to name our Hangout like, I don't know, CamCon or? Yeah. Let's see. CamCon 2015. So, I wonder if I can name it. So, the way you can name it is inside the little wheel. Wonderful. What do you want to name it? CamCon, yeah. CamCon Cam 2015. CamCon 2015. So, next time someone actually messages this group, you're like, oh, that's who these random people are. Um, okay, now, so does everybody see that sprocket? That, that, that we're talking about. So this, in the actual hangout itself, yeah, and you want me to plug in? Yeah, because my computer just, just crashed. Yeah. Oh, cool. But this is my computer like every day. So. All right. Ugh. I'm going to pull up what I've got. So this is a new machine to me, so I haven't made it all shiny because um, I didn't even know if I was keeping it. Um, so this is me in the hangouts, right? Oh, I just messaged Angie and Brenda. So this is CamCon 2015. So does everybody see that sprocket right there? So right here where the mouse is, sprocket, hangouts.google.com. And you might be within your own Do you need help? Too. I will. I still have the video going. Oh, I'm in black and white. Good job, me. Um, OK. So when I'm at hangouts.google.com, um, that chat right there, so the sprocket, just like with Google Sites, if any of you have made a Google Site, a sprocket is basically a larger level change. And so when I go to that sprocket, one, I can rename it. Two, I can decide, hey, do I want notifications for this chat, or do I just want to get to it when I get to it? Right? So for example, like the Colorado Educators Network, um, like not everyone is a teacher, so they kept on messaging during the day, and it would start popping up in the middle of my lessons. I'm like, sorry, guys, I'm really popular. Um, so I forgot that I had to come in here and uncheck notifications, so it'll just show up when I go to Hangouts. It won't automatically notify me. Um, like during the summer, do I kind of want those notifications? Yeah, because otherwise I'm not going to check it. Right? Let's be real. It's summer. Okay? But if it's during the school year and I know I'm always going to come back to it and I don't need to check it, I can uncheck this box and just get to it when I get to it. Um, you can also archive it. You can also decide, like, hey, I don't want to be in this chat anymore. I don't want to get, get any of these messages. So you can opt to leave. Um, that's another option. Like, some people were really tired of, like, some of the random questions getting asked by 50 people in a giant Hangout chat, right? And so they decided, hey, this isn't for me, so I'm going to go ahead and leave. Um, so the, that sprocket is always, like... Um, like if you have a Mac, like that's this, what the settings icon looks like is those gears. And so I always think of the gears as being a settings button. It's kind of like a universal, this is how you change settings icon. If, for those of you that don't speak geek. Um, so you don't have to do a video conference. You could just use it as chat, mm -hmm. um, which is what I think of maybe doing with my PLC members. Um, and I, prob I might want my PLC members to be able to notify me. Um, right. I know in one building, um, Jessica, you were talking about this, how it was that you guys would just chat to, to each other. Hey, Jimmy just got done with a reading test with me. I'm sending him your way instead of writing each other passes. And so they would just use Google Hangouts to just message each other when they were sending a kid to each other. So that, of course, should be like a building level decision, but that's kind of the potential that this tool has. Um, you could use it so in that way. It can. If I under, yeah, it depends it what you have installed. If your sound is on, it will also make the whole sound. So if you turn notifications off, you won't get that sound. Yeah. Um, but I know, like, for example, for me, with my Chrome browser, um, I have, you'll see, oh, this is my Google Drive, but you see up here what Maria was talking about, I have a Chrome extension. And so when I'm running my Chrome browser, that Hangout is also running, so I would get those notifications during class. 
Um, so that's super cool. Um, but I mean, like, I, I really like it mostly because, like, I've, set, I've made sure my settings are, like, I want people to annoy me who are, like, I, I want them to annoy me if they're going to annoy me. I've, I've already taken care of those settings. Now, Maddie, you mentioned that you created a Google Hangout with hundreds of people. I had read that there was a limit no. to 10 well, okay. to 15. So, so there's, so there's, let's talk about three. Do we have dry erase or is this sticky? Um, like a dry erase marker? Because I need to diagram this because I'm a visual learner. Aren't um, these? No, they're permanent. I would make a chart. just make a chart. Yeah. Okay. Save it for all of eternity. Because, um, well, at least my handwriting's good. If that, that's one thing I do have going for me. So if we take a look at, um, I'm going to make like a comparison chart, because there's a lot of kind of terminology we're throwing around with this whole Google Hangout thing. <coughs> so we should make sure that, right. Yeah. But I like making charts, because I'm weird. Um, so if we look at <coughs> this big branch, of Google Hangouts, right? There's kind of these two primary levels. So there's a like what we'll call chat. And so this is going to be text only. But we noticed, uh, Anik, right? I can push a button, and that can take me to right the video. Now, here's what we do know about the video. There is a maximum number of participants for the video. And I think it's nine. Am I correct? So if you're setting up a Google Hangout video, mm -hmm. um, right. from your Google Doc Mac, Doc Mac account, you can have a Google Hangout. Did you leave the okay. Hangout? Okay. okay. Does that mean I'm out? From a Gmail account, they only give me ten. I guess. Right. Let me see if I can add you from her computer. What's your name? Jessica. Brian. All right, so we have those things, right? And so, Maria, you're talking about, oh my gosh, like you have this thing where like hundreds of people could watch your, your, your Google Hangout. Well, that's the key phrase there is, is watch, not participate, okay? So these are the two basic levels that people talk about. You've got chat, you've got video, but there's also this idea it's called Hangouts on Air, okay? And so what this does, and we don't necessarily have to get to this today, right? So if someone tells you to do a Hangout on Air, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be in the video, if that makes you feel awesome, okay? What this does is you can, they can have, you can either panel member slash participant, right? You can be, in that category, or you can simply be a viewer, okay? And so, for example, Ben, he ran, uh, I was with him for a couple of projects, or not, a uh, project roundtable, and so we would bring in all these experts to talk about a variety of topics, um, and so those people on the panel, they were in the video, if you will, right? But we had people all across the country that were either going to the event itself, right? There's like a page for the event where you can watch the live stream, or they were watching it from the YouTube video that was simultaneously being created, okay? And so when you're a panel member or participant, you can see it the whole time, right? You're, you're on the video, you can see everything what's going on. As the viewer, you only see what is being broadcast, okay? And this is actually recorded and goes to YouTube. With the team? Hangouts that are team. recorded and you want to watch the same as you would a webinar, but Google actually has some. Um, they'll have to do 
just a panel and come in and talk and we have different topics. Right, and so when we're talking about like hundreds of people, there's not a hundreds of people on your screen, it's just hundreds of people can view it because it's got a special link for viewing. Okay, so that's kind of the difference. So this is more of like the everyday stuff, right? Hangouts, just video, I'm not really recording that, that's just to have a nice little conversation with me. But for example, I wanted to uh, record the video with my student teacher, right, of us debriefing because I needed to submit a coaching video, okay? So, I know that Google Hangouts with the video, it doesn't do that, so I did a Google Hangout on air with my student teacher so I could record it, and then I just made sure that that YouTube video link was private um, after it was recorded so only I could see it at that point. Um, does that kind of make sense? And then I uploaded it to Vialogs, and that was a whole other thing. Um, but just the ability to kind of record some of those pieces, that, if, if that's the kind of level you're going for, it takes the Hangouts on air. But these two should serve most of the purposes that you're going to want the chat and the video messaging for. So can viewers see Hangouts on air simultaneously when the actual themes are going on? Yeah, so it's a live stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, although I've experienced um, that there is often a delay. Uh -huh. um, with Hangouts on Air, which is why it's a free tool and not a paid tool, right? And so, like, I wanted to do a webinar um, with my AP Calc students, and I actually had a kid um, texting with me through Remind. Um, I don't, I don't give my phone number to kids, um, but he was messaging with me through Remind and saying, "Okay, Sammy, what did I just say?" He said, "You just said this," so I knew in my head I had about a 45-second lag time. Um, and so that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to do a webinar with Hangouts on Air. You can often have a considerable lag time um, with that, depending upon a ton of factors. So, do um, we, oh, go ahead, Maria. I was going to suggest I, either you all had already set up a Hangout on Air or let's create a new Hangout on Air just to show yeah. the class. Do I want, we want to just do one of those Hangouts on Air? Um, oh, so I'm at Hangouts. Every oh, and look, it's Hangouts on Air. They're so closely linked to each other. All right, so I'm going to create a Hangout on Air. Um, Cam Con 2015 test test for the PD at Cam Con on Google Hangouts. All right, I can start it now. I can also schedule it for later. So if I want this event to take place at some point in the future, I can set it up for later and invite people to it. And um, I think, Jessica, when you made one with us, you set it up to like an hour before we were supposed to meet so that if anybody comes in early, they can, is that right? Yeah, so I actually set it for the time of meeting, and then anybody can come in at any point ahead of time. Um, it just will say, it's something like, the organizer hasn't joined yet, and so the mm -hmm. person who set it up, if they're not in there yet, you can still get in there, and then once they come in and join, then you can see each other. But you can you just go in and join it, and you're just kind of hanging out in the room until the other people join. And that's just anybody that's invited? Yes, yeah, so, and I would say, if you are interested in Hangouts on Air, like, that would be good for the small groups, because there's a lot of little things that you have to keep track of and sometimes it's too much like you guys might just want to get hangout chat and hangout figured yeah. out first but if you do want to do the hangouts on air just keep in mind that um, the link that you give people has to be the link from the actual hangout so um, like once Nadia does this um, and sets it up she will actually have to go in and pull the link from the hangout itself to give people who are going to be on the video so if someone ever says to you, well, I'm here, but I can't see myself, it's probably because they're using the viewer link, not the I'm on the video link. There's two different links. Does that make sense? All right. So click here to verify. Oh, did I not verify this YouTube account? Oh, I can't verify this one. I'm going to set it up on my other one. And hang on, you do require. 
if you haven't set up your YouTube, it will walk you through the steps to verify your account. Yeah. But since you guys will be doing that already. <coughs> I just don't have enough phone numbers for my other account. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to create a Hangout on Air just to show you what it looks like. CamCon 2015 test. This is a test for the Google Hangouts PD. So now, and um, I actually want to make it for Project Cam Opener. That's my audience. So I can go ahead and share it. And so now this is going to be my event page, right? So if you go here, um, you can play it, and so you'll see whatever the video <coughs> looks like. Since I'm the event organizer, I can go ahead and uh, have fun with that, call myself. All right now, um, here I can invite guests. So if they want to be on this with me, Right, then I can invite them individually. So let's say I want to make sure I add Maria. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and invite her to be in on this call. Okay. So now notice uh, what I've got going on right now. If you go to the actual event, which it's probably posted to pro the community at this point, right? If I make a hangout for the community, that'll be the audience that it's shared with. Um, Right now I'm off air, so that means if you go to the link, you actually won't see anything. Okay. Um, maybe I'm prepping, maybe I'm talking to my panelists saying, hey, you know, does everybody have everything lined up? Do you have what you need? Does your microphone work? Right? I'm doing all those tests before I actually broadcast, especially if this is something that I'm going to record and is going to be on YouTube forever because that's what the Internet is forever. Um, at least that's what I say to my kids. Um. Patty, will you show where that adding viewers link is? How you can get that URL up in the top with the share? Right here? In the settings, in the tools. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you go to the top by the turning on and off the audio and the microphone. Oh, right here, up. yep. So sometimes you'll need to change those things if someone or your video or audio isn't working. It might be because you need to switch. So that's in the settings. You can always play around with those things. Um, but then if you close out of that, and then the share on the left side of that toolbar on the little person with the plus sign. Yep, that guy. Yep. So you can also copy that link. And a lot of times what I, I do is I just email the participants that URL, and I'll say, Looking forward to meeting with you tomorrow. Use this link to join the Hangout, because otherwise they'll end up on the Google Plus page, and they will just be watching, but they won't be a part of it. So if you send them that link, that will bring them right into the video. So that's where you just want to make sure you're doing one or the other. And then there's is that quiet invitation basically saying um, you, you can view it, but you're not going to be able to speak? No, so quiet invitation, every time someone joins or leaves, Oh. It makes those little notification noises. If you're doing a hangout, you're recording, and you do not want that noise every time someone comes and goes. So if you do a quiet invitation, it's like ninja joining, and they're nice and quiet, and they won't kind of interrupt what someone's saying. Okay. So now, so this is all the stuff for the participants, right? But let's say I want to know who's viewing, right? So I've got the links in the bottom corner. Um, there is two ways they can access it. There's an event page. And there's also a YouTube link. They can go to either one. You can also, if you want to get crazy, embed this video within a website or blog and send them there. Not to blow your mind or anything. Um, the internet is a complicated, wonderful thing. Um, so I will actually um, copy the event to our Hangout so you can click it. And take a look. Now, if you if you go there, it should say like the user hasn't uh, started the broadcast because I haven't started yet. Are you there, Anik? <coughs> the event page. And what does it say? Does it say I've started it? So you can push play, but it'll it will. So you'll push play, and it'll bring up the video, 
and it looks like, yeah, it's just like my weird picture, if that makes sense. The one I made on bit strips has to act as my little uh, avatar, right? Is everybody getting to the event page? I sent it through the uh, Google chat. Are you there? Do I have the right information for you in there? Okay. The link for the Hangout? No, it's a different Hangout. You're looking at a different Hangout here. So let's see. Oh, CamCon 2015. Oh, okay. And so that's where we're looking at. Where there's at. what? Oh, there's two. Um, so this is the event okay. itself. She, okay. This so is a, just the group that And notice I've done nothing. The like there's nothing um, going on because I haven't started anything. It's just yeah. like a weird fuzzy image yeah, of my uh, cartoon version of myself, if you will. No. I, Are you there, Anik? there. Yeah. Um, All right. Do we want to see what happens when I, I push yeah, this? Do, do, do you guys right get now. set up okay? All right. So I'll show you what happens when we have a... For the class. Yeah, we're going to go live. Yeah, this is now live, and I can broadcast on YouTube for up to eight hours. So if I want to spend those eight hours reading the encyclopedia just because I can, I probably could. Um, but you'll see if you're watching the video right now, there's probably a bit of a lag time. Um, so that's what I mean by the lag time. It's like super fun, right? So what you're going to be seeing, hopefully it'll start soon. But typically, I have found like that broadcast does have that lag. So if you're looking for that participant interaction on a quick basis, this might not be the tool that you want um, to do it. Or you're going to have to basically learn how to stall creatively for so many seconds before it um, actually lets you take a oh. look at different pieces. She's getting it now an error that this video is unavailable in safety mode. Safety mode? What did for I do? YouTube. Integrated know, webcam. Is it because we're in elementary school, or? Are you logged on with the GPS computer? Air, because I'm, this is my GPS computer. Huh. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. You're back so soon. What you needed. All right. Well, I'm just. Yeah. Um, no, I, I've actually participated in that Breakfast Club 5.30 Twitter chat. It's super fun, super easy. Um, I actually so wish you got to talk YouTube more about it because it's basically like you go on yeah. Twitter at 5.30, they post a topic, like a question, and then as long as you like Click on look for everything computer. under that hashtag, oh, you get to see the whole conversation. You're supposed to scroll yeah. to the bottom of any YouTube page. You're going to be fine. Down, select on your own. You're worried about getting yourself in trouble? No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, everybody can see it. This is true. Now, you can be unlisted, but there's like weird hashtag things. Like, basically, I'm Googleable. So I have just given up any, any hope that I will ever have privacy on the internet ever. Um, it's kind and of where I'm at with that. It, and so it. instead of being scared of it, I am instead it. trying to make sure I embrace it and use it as a place to have like a strong voice for teachers. Because like, yeah, great. If you do Google my name, then I do show up. And so you do get to hear my thoughts and stuff versus like, well, I know that there's some teacher named Mary Jones somewhere or whatever. And, but like, if I just Google that name, I don't see all the wonderful things she's posting. Um, so for me, that's kind of, you have to, Either dive in or opt out, and opting out doesn't sound so like as I much just fun. Given up and um, so I'm guessing that you can see me now. <coughs> um, we notice though that there is that lag time, right? Major, um, yeah. Major lag time. So that's something to definitely. I have four viewers. Look, I can even see how many people are watching me. That's not creepy. Um, and that's actually, so when I ran Five. a webinar for the foundation that I work for, I actually called up um, one of the people that I work with in my, in my organization going, hey, I'm not having any viewers. Did somebody actually like contact the teachers and let them know this was happening, right? And so you can also use that as someone who's running the Hangout. Look, now I have five viewers. Now I know that there's five people out there in the internet land watching me, and that's fun. Um, 
you know, and now this is going to live on YouTube forever and probably get posted to Project Cam Opener, but you know, it's what we do. Um, so this is kind of how you can do a Hangout on Air. What I actually did is I had uh, my student teacher invited to this at the same time, so using that little like plus guy, um, and that's how I was able to record our conversation. Um, it's saved as a YouTube video, and so if you know of any applications that use YouTube videos, a ton of them, right? Um, basically, that made that video, that conversation of us, like I could open it up in a bunch of different tools. So for example, there's something called Vialogs, um, where if you upload a video, you can have time-stamped conversations about the video on the side. And so I would either record our conversations about coaching and make sure I made notes, or I recorded his teaching I, onto a, a YouTube video put it on Vialogs, and then time-stamped different places where I was looking for different things that he could work on. Like, we were really focusing on how can he make sure all the kids are actually paying attention, like those LEs. How do we keep them engaged? How do we keep them on task? And so every time he had to handle one of those instances, I'd make a time-stamped comment in his video, Right? And then he could go back and say, okay, that's what I should have got done at that particular moment. Instead of us both talking about like, hey, you remember that one time where Jimmy blah, 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 and then nobody remembers and then you can't even have the conversation anyway. Um, so just by being able to record something to YouTube through this, there's a lot of other tools that you can use as a result is kind of where I'm going with that. Um, that's Vialogs. Um, I can pull that up. I don't even know if my account's logged in here. Um, so I can log in. Oh, look, that's me. What do you mean CA script is not ready? Let me log in. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm like super impatient. Um, OK, so I had, oh, look, there's comments. Oh, that was for my coursework. Um, so I can take a look at my profile and what I'm working on. Um, so there's, look, then lesson February 20th, 2015. And so I'm going to pull this up. And this is all because I could record it to YouTube, right? This is a little bit separate from the Hangouts, but a Hangouts is a way you can record. Um, so there's all these timestamps, like what structures are in place for students' work? Are they supposed to be working with specific people? And so like I'm asking him these questions and he can watch himself teach at the same time with comments that are timestamped for exactly. Um, when he's doing it. So if you're looking in some of that like coaching capacity or having conversations, this might be a really neat tool for you. But I feel like I've gotten a little distracted and away from Hangouts, so I just get so excited. I don't know. Technologies are very exciting. And look, I'm back. All right. And so like, let's say I'm really done with this video being recorded for like everyone to see for all of eternity. Um, I'm going to push stop broadcast. And so now that video has been shipped off to YouTube um, to go somewhere. I don't even know. What, no, I'm just kidding. It's on my YouTube account. Um, and so that's how I can kind of archive this for the long term. So that was like the advanced <coughs> level of what you can do with Google Hangouts. Um, do we want to spend some time like practicing Hangouts with just individual people, with each other? Like maybe we can even separate rooms, go into different groups. Like maybe partner with someone. Does that make sense? And then you'll try Google Hangouting with each other with the chat and with the video. And I, I think sharing screen was, is also something cool to try out. Sharing. Yes, with each other. Yeah, so. Share screen, yeah. Um, I think I actually did a Hangout on Air where I recorded what I was doing on my Promethean board. And so kid who was at home sick actually watched my class for like a good 10 minutes. Um, it was kind of fun. But. On a time delay. On a time delay, yes. But, you know, Eric was six, so it's okay. Um, I think he's, like, the only one who ever watched any of my stuff on a consistent basis. So do we want to partner up with someone and then go in different rooms for the video hangout, at least, so we have less of that feedback? As much fun as that feedback is. Um, um, you're going to need each other's names. Do you have a laptop or no? I um, do. Yeah, I, I can uh, partner with you, except I need to stay here because 
so do we do my battery's about to no, die. No, 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 no. All right. Been, You're more of an expert. Okay. You're more no, of a... I'm no, I'm not. Yeah. I just... <laughs> Let's see. What's your... um? It's... Diana, Diana Duran. Diana okay. Durant. So you go to What's the your last hangouts. That's where you're at right now. What's that? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna have this panel over here. Oh look, new conversation. Okay. 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 So that's What's your name? Diana. Okay. Diana. Alrighty. That's a totally other. Let's see. Yeah. Is that you? Look, that's her. You can message her, being like, "Hey." <laughs> And if you go to hangouts.google.com, you're going to have a message there waiting for you. So it will probably pop up over there. Look. Oh, look. It's her. So now you have, like, a message going. You can also video call each other. But you're going to want to do that in separate rooms. So your feedback isn't, like, um, isn't off the hook. Do you, would you like to join one of us? I'm trying to figure out if I would be better to be in here or there. So I joined the camera for her last Look, year. Uh -huh. My iPad, and, it followed me. Um, I got it's so neat. So to do a hangout, we have to know their name. Totally. Time it totally. To yeah. Or, is, or if you're in the DPS one, you if you know their name, right, you kind of uh -huh. know their email address. And so I never um, So I always just like start typing okay. people's yeah. names. Um, uh-huh. So I was hoping that Catherine Moore. Oh, could boom! Tutor me Look, and now I'm gonna, you're going to invite her. Um, um, wait and do that with Jessica. Mine, right? Yes, I but think the best place for that, for that is yep. um, room two twenty six. And that yeah. way, if you two want to exchange any ideas right. or any time, right. like real quick, like big. oh man, like I know this person, like. Like, I'd be like, hey, Ben, I really want to know, like, what I should use. I have these two options. What would you recommend? I just need, like, someone quick to bounce an idea off of. That's when I use the messaging one for sure. Um. Right. Because I couldn't use the cube for that. Okay. But the iPad would work. Okay. If I had yeah. a camera on my computer, that would work. And if you need a web, uh, I don't know what your new. I don't know what I'm going to use. But if you if you need a, a web that would app, work. This would work. Uh, I think less. The, the technology is Basically. like amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I like just read the introduction to my graduate course mm -hmm. um, and it was like you need a microphone and a blah 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 and a blah 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 he's like but if you have a smartphone it really has all of it so you're okay and I was like really like really who doesn't have um, yeah he's like you need a mobile camera you need like a microphone or a headset with a microphone which is basically the earbuds you get with your iPhone most of our computers yeah so it's yeah so basically um what my professor was talking about, he's like, like those uh, flip cams, uh -huh. they were like all the rage. He's like, yeah, those are outdated now. Yeah, um, nobody them. sells them anymore because nobody will pay for them. Right. Um, and it's because there's just now, we've made so many tools that do everything that by having multiple tools, we actually have multiple everything, uh -huh. which is redundant. Right, right. Um, okay. But do you feel good about Hangouts yeah, and actually, stuff like I do. that? And, and it definitely, um, I can see it's used for teams that I was having fun listening to Bridget's ideas for kids, you know, but, yeah. but then that would be, like if she was talking about having a small group of kids, talking to another small group of kids, they would have <coughs> Well, and you could even try to orchestrate it with two sets of kids across the district. Right. Okay. That would be a really neat way to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, I want you guys to play with it a little bit, but I do want to have, like, that conversation. Okay, now that you've used it, what, do you, what ideas do you have right. as far as what we can do with this, right? Okay, yeah. Because um, I think you don't really know until you play. Right, no, it's true. Yeah. Um, <coughs> are you guys having fun? We're using Google Yes! Yeah. I totally, I think I gave my mom a mustache and, like, all that stuff. Um, it's really fun to use.
this out, any tool that Google uses, like Google Photo, Google Sites, Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Drive, the address is always that tool.google.com. Um, so if it seems like I'm super confident about the addresses of all these things, it's because Google is very consistent. Now there's going to be like a fun four minute video of me on YouTube now. Oh, it might actually go out to my students. They're going to crack up. Um, because you do need to verify your YouTube account. And my cell phone was used to verify so many YouTube accounts oh, wow. that I can't verify my dps.net YouTube account. For, which you don't need to do unless you do a hangout on air. So I can record videos, like I can do all that stuff, right. but I can't do a hangout on air yet until I like arrange the time where I'm going to be by my classroom phone and I can verify using voicemail. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> I have too many identities. Found off the ice too, and I didn't realize it. Oh <laughs> yeah, like you got to be careful with yeah. that. Yeah. You can also share YouTube videos with each other. Um, so my sister shared like three different K-pop videos with us um, while we were all talking. I was like, I don't even know what's going on right now, but those boys can dance really well. Yeah. Uh, Korean pop, it's like boy bands, like nothing but boy bands. It's very confusing. Um, I was like, wait, I thought this happened in the 90s. Um, <laughs> but it's way, way cool over, over in Korea. How you doing, Maria? You having fun? Are yeah. you sending drawings between people? Yeah. Weirdly, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, good. We're at, the play, we're at the play part of this. Those are great glasses. Uh, so how do I get out of the drawing? So the drawing app's over on your left panel. Okay, click on Yeah. So up one, you're up one. Oh. The one with the mustache? Yeah. How This is my RSS feed. 
feed that tells me when I have new articles that I should read about edge mesh. Um, so that's kind of the power that Chrome has. Like if I push that sun thing, um, that actually pulls up my calendar, right? And so, but I need different tools depending upon what capacity I'm working in, right? So like, for example, I, have, I don't have time to read articles when I'm in my classroom, right? And so if you see me go over to the one that I primarily use with my classroom, that icon's not there. And in fact, I have far fewer extensions because I'm not doing as much work within the internet on my, my phone. Um, but one that I do love is that Google Drive one. It will, um, if you have a PDF open, it'll automatically save it to your Google Drive without you needing to download it. So how do you get the extensions? Um, I just, opened a, I just opened a can of worms that was not at all the, uh, no, I totally did that. Um, it's aligned to so let's see, Chrome Store is what it's called. Chrome Web Store. Coaching Indicator 1 are all in that folder. And it's like, and just like a little, there's three kinds of things on Chrome. And so what Maria has is an extension, okay? So you have apps, extensions, and themes. Apps is fancy for bookmarks, okay? It doesn't really add any additional functionality. It will take you to their website, okay? Um, extension adds functionality to the browser. So for example, it will let me do something extra as a result, right? So I have an extension that allows me to automatically create an email with a link of the page that I'm on, right? So what Maria has, if I want to take a look, I can look at um, Hangouts, right? And it shows me, these are the apps that I have, so those are like the bookmarks, right? And then you're going to see that there's also extensions. And so this is the extension that I have is Hangouts. Um, and so it'll open up Hangouts for me and keep that kind of live within my browser. But again, that's adding functionality to your web browser um, versus being a book. Okay. And then themes is why my browsers always look so pretty. And that's, I actually color code them so I know what mine says. So that's what Maria has. I also have a Google Hangouts on Air that's also an extension, which I think is probably a about Chrome in the tech field of Chrome. Um, so if you ha if there's one coming up that you want to go to, I would definitely recommend doing that. There's a Google one. Does that include Chrome? It might. Or there it's probably more drive and doc, I would think. Right. Because that's generally mm -hmm. what people... But the crazy thing is they all talk to each other, so it's so hard to get to. Um, also in the Google Chrome uh, app store is where I got the screencast the Streamcastify is, I don't see it. It's, it looks like a little camera, like a little video camera, and um, it automatically records whatever you have on your screen, and that's how I was able to record my lessons. So I would have my, whatever I have. Can you show me? Oh, it's a little, I thought it was a camera. No, the camera. It's, uh,
that we put that app screen captures on. So it's an app that you get at the Chrome store. It's the one with the little film strip. And I just hit record and I just, while you guys were talking, I decided to change screens on her computer and um, and then it recorded it. So that was the video part. So you can save it to this, meaning you save it to your machine. You can share it, meaning you can post it to YouTube. Yeah. Um, so I think that, do you remember Chris, Chris Beshire? Yeah. Uh, so she was, she was like, oh my gosh, jungle. I know I'm in a new building, but you're totally going to know this. How do I do blah, 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 blah. So I was like, oh, no problem. I clicked Screencastify. I recorded a video for her of how to do it. And then I just like sent it off to her. And she's like, oh my gosh, that must have taken you forever. I was like, do you see how long the video is? Three minutes. <laughs> That's how long it took me. It's OK. <coughs> um, you can think I'm a wizard, but I'm not. Um, I just play a little more. So if you want to see that Screencastify, once it's installed, you just click on this thing. It asks you, do you want to record just the tab, the whole desktop, or the camera? I like to do the whole desktop. And she was recommending to embed the webcam. That mean, would mean that I would be doing, being videotaped as the desktop is going, and then you say start recording. And um, it says, which uh, screen reader would you like to share the content of your experience? What would you like to share? I always usually do the entire screen. To me, it's just easier. And then um, so let's look back at this document, which, by the way, you need to look at because you guys need to register for. Um, so this is not the right one. That's not the right one. Do not be yeah. asking. So um, if you go to signstudio.com, is it how, how much time is there left? We're right here in the two three. So it would be a good time to do it. So right now. Um, oh man, I don't even know what that button is. Shared with me. This needs to be shared. Is it shared with me? Yeah. This one? You might not be in the right one yet. No. No, because that's my Gmail. Okay. Uh, so this is my Gmail account. I, I keep. I know. I have like too many, too many profiles. I think I should even do like a schizophrenic. Um, well, I feel like I'm schizophrenic because my kids log into my computer and my Chrome, and now I'm learning that there's those two levels. And um, today I just did the equipment stuff under my son's profile, and I couldn't find it. And thankfully, um, I realized that that's what I did. So um, I need to put it back. You need to copy it to like. Do we feel comfortable with the hangout and how you put the slides on? Yes. Yeah, we're good. Is it? Easier than you thought, harder than you thought, both, <laughs> neither. Do the same time. Good. I think just remember those little green quotes is what gets you to the hangout that you need to add people in order to talk to them. And um, and if you want to be able to talk to people, they need to be in also, they need to be logged into Chrome or, um, so what you said earlier, that you said from now on you should use Chrome as your browser, I think that's a really good tip so that you're available to the people who might want to talk to you. And something really amazing is I have to switch computers and because oh. I've been using Chrome and I've been saving everything and I'm always logged in, I opened up my new computer and opened up Chrome and logged in and all my bookmarks are there. All my passwords are saved. Oh, yeah. I didn't have to redo all of that on screen. Right. I actually don't take my laptop home at night. I leave it in my closet and I just have that, that logged in on my home computer. So if I actually do need anything, I just I can just access it from any device versus like, oh, I have to hack down my work computer because all my files are there. Well, now I have Google Drive, all my files are stored on the drive, and I can access that mm -hmm. anywhere. Um, and as someone who walks to work, not having to carry a laptop that is really heavy is kind of nice. Um, another, how do, you, how do you sync it? How do you it toggle? It syncs itself. If you're, uh, if you know how to set it up. Your drive? No. Or your Chrome? It does not. It should sync itself. But how does Chrome sync? Sync? 
it, the only thing that's weird is if you download it drive onto your computer right then you have to worry about syncing so if you just don't ever download it and just mm -hmm. always use it on the, the internet you have another, uh, i think that's basically i just heard from ruben the tech person to not download drive yeah. onto your school computer because i i think he said something like they are disabling that they want you to always go to the internet students can communicate with the other schools. Right. Or Practice students them. actually in China. Right. Yeah. yeah. Too. yeah. Mm -hmm. Time difference. The time right. zone. <laughs> oh man, I used to teach to, I taught one summer to my mom's company, so she could go and figure out how to speak English. But I always had to be up at like 3 30 in the morning. Yeah, I only did that for one summer. Um, <laughs> that was the summer where I actually had to go a month and have a paycheck to like the So if register to yes. um, in SchoolNet. So go to SchoolNet and Educator Development TV search CamCon and it's going to list a whole bunch of things. This one is called Video and Hangouts for Practice Processing. And then the evaluation is at the BEA dot wiki spaces. I can write that. No, yeah. it, no, it's a different one. It's uh, the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. CamCon as well. They have it's a different the set of evaluation. Oh yeah? Yep. I've been showing out the other one. Well, thanks. Yeah, they, all, they, they all talk to each other. It's fine. It's Lee Kim, Cam Khan, and Cam Khan. It's special. Yeah, it does. It is special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The computer that was a sponsor. <laughs> There's this uh, podcast that just came out. I think it's called The Files. It's a show about the internet, and it's Reddit. Absolutely love it. Reply and All? Reply and All. It's a podcast. I'm obsessed with podcasts. That's why I think I'm going to be one of my guys now. Um, but they have this segment called Yes, Yes, No, or, um, yeah, where the two people who host the show and know, uh, like, the internet both understand what something in the internet is talking about, but the third guy, the producer, has no idea what, what they're talking about. And so their goal is to have a conversation about this thing until it's a yes, yes, no. Podcasts are my um, insomnia. Yeah, they have, uh, they have podcasts of books, like the Sherlock Holmes story. Uh -huh. You can download it as a podcast and listen to it for free. Yeah, I, um, yeah. I mean, I can 
those were the stories and they happened during the duration of that one show. Mm -hmm. Serial, you can get away with those kind of contracts where it follows the same story across like a longer period of time, about like 12 episodes. Oh, serial with an X. With an X. Mm -hmm. Yes. do we ensure like how like how they actually pan out or like wh where they actually go is everything that we hear from Brittany Griffin. Um, it was very moving and I listened to, to it in the morning before I caught my AP because I didn't want to just end up like getting emotional all day. Um, I think she says a lot of it just like out of like very personal concern and she was forced to like one and Google. But even with that, screen classified? I mean, you're going to have to 
and then the device like, tells you how on my iPad or something. Then would it automatically link up to this? Yeah. 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 I don't have it on your iPad. I know that everything is. What do you need to do? Plug into here, it will download. Okay. Okay. And the iPad's always weird with Google. It doesn't even match as nicely as the PC. Okay. Um, did you have to set anything up or just pop in there and you're there? I mean, is that. Um, I didn't. It just I had to download something. Um, I would say you okay. need to on my Chromebook, get the Chromebook to the next to this with the YouTube. And yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but like, okay. Was that. Oh, okay. I will test it before you okay. do it. And um, it might oh, be that you might want to change some settings on there. Yeah, it might be the cloud. But I was going to just do it. But, uh, mm -hmm. do you have access to your iCloud? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, there was something kind of neat. I'm going to ask them. Yeah, I'll ask them. I, I have to see them tomorrow again, so. Um, but show me what I'm going to show you on the iPad Gen 1. That was a good one. Yeah. No, they had me download something. something. Okay, I will ask. So I actually make videos and you should show me. I mean, is the swivel on the iPad at all? And then the swivel, and the swivel will, like will automatically upload to the swivel app okay. on the iPad. Yeah. Um, this was more for so the public and other okay. things. But I mean, also, I like, I'm going to set up my personal uh, account because it's unlimited. Yeah. But every time I put in a card, uh -huh. for, because I can save them all. Now, it's not high quality. It would be low right. resolution. Right. But at least I would have a place. Save it, yeah. Oh, with real ones, you know. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's one, there's there's more for five and one for each of those, and that's one. Yeah. So it's pretty nice. Yeah. And two, I can actually write my music. Yes. Kind of archaic. Yeah, it would be good to have it somewhere. Yeah. Right. But if you're going to YouTube, it's using the cloud right now. It's okay. It's the. And then you're still doing your thing at four o'clock. Oh, did you? Oh, you can do a file. Um, the hard part about that is that do you have you used the book launcher? And it's big. <laughs> I mean, yeah. No, I just learned about it yesterday. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, because it's three, four, five. Did you read it in our school? And Jimmy is saying, oh, you should really go there. You should try it. Like, I don't have, like, all of the doctors who would download it.
<laughs> I really like technology too. <laughs> so he likes to play with all of this stuff too. Oh, good. Okay. So then we end up being really good teams. Oh, that's nice. Oh, did you see this new app that blah, 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 blah? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, yeah, I've been trying. So my three is to kind of put like their energies into play. And my app. Actually, I think now my husband's whole department is turned over to Google too. So. Do you see your husband? Yeah, I know, he's so funny because he's doing the artist. He's funny because he only does things that he would like to go to anyway, you know? So it's like, okay, well, he went to concerts that he wants to see, you know? And then I, I told him, oh, I ran into Boulder Boulder. I told him all about that when I went in college. And he'd never been. So I said, oh, I'll go work some Boulder Boulder since you've been there. And I had it. I used to do like Star Trek stuff with my mom. And so Comic Con came up and I go, oh, that's probably a big, like, Star Trek type thing, but he goes to that. I mean, he goes to whatever, you know. It's funny. I'm like, oh, no. Been, been there the you should have the So did you run it too? I didn't know. Okay. I didn't know you. He said he's not dating. Okay. Yeah, I was on a Oh, yeah. Oh, were you? And then was that was that the marathon that you were talking about? Or was that, because that's a 10 day, right? That was a 10K. And then you had a half marathon. So next weekend I ran a half marathon. Okay. Next weekend? The, the oh, the next one. Oh, okay. Is that the Colfax one, or is that a different No, I actually yeah, ran the um, rock and roll out in San Diego. Oh, you yeah. went up with San Diego. The boys go to Legoland, and they don't you guys get to do anything. <coughs> they they didn't come. Uh, my best friend and I went. Oh, that's nice. Nice So trip. it was kind of the treat of, like, uh -huh. I'm going to do all this hard work. Right, right. Oh, good. Well, how did it go? Did you? It went really well. Uh -huh. We beat our time, and I thought maybe it was going to Okay, so that's, 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 that's really good. Yeah, we have some friends out coming out from Kansas City, the Kingston and Farber, and she's going to do it, a marathon up at Estes. It's like the first of August, but she wants to come out for a week and acclimate to the altitude. I go, yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Because I did a training here yeah. and then going to I, That probably felt a lot better. Which was really nice. It was so well. Good. But I can't so imagine good. training uh, at a lower altitude. Uh, and then like coming up here. Oh, no. Why is it facing the wall? I don't know. <laughs> but I always start.